What's going on you guys, it's your boy Lloyd here. So today we're gonna to talk about a question that I got from one of my viewers and he writes, Hey Lloyd, love all the helpful advice that you give on your channel, you are the best. My question for you is that I was talking to this girl for a while and it was going great. She was texting me a lot, she really wanted to meet up, but then she started responding less and less to me. Eventually, after a couple of weeks of this, I decided to move on and forgot all about her. As soon as I did this, she texted me right away and has been trying to meet up ever since. This has not been the first time this has happened to me. Why is it that when I stop caring, I start getting results from women? Would appreciate your insight. Cool. Well, I don't know about your particular situation with this girl. You know, a lot of things can happen. Uh, maybe she was occupied with something. I don't know. Um, but let's answer the bigger question here, which is why do results seemingly start to come when you stop caring? Um, this is something that I've seen with a lot of my clients. They rarely talk about this and something that I've seen in my own life as well, too. Okay, and uh, it's, it seems to be true, you know, when you stop caring, the, the women start coming towards, you know, why is this? Well, uh, there's the first reason is that if you don't really care, you're not really noticing if a girl's not texting you, you're not really noticing all those individual little things, but when you do care, if she doesn't text you back, it's like a huge deal and you remember it. Okay, so when you do care, all the little mistakes, all the little things that uh, um, make you upset, you start to notice more. And when you don't, you don't really notice them that much. The second reason is that, um, yeah, you're more attractive, straight up. Um, a guy who cares less is m less concerned with uh, the girl that he's you know, trying to pursue, and because of that, he's not as needy, he doesn't do a lot of the other things that a lot of my clients uh, do wrong. Um, and because he's focused on other things, that gives him an aura of like mystery about him too. So he's not gonna mess things up, but like if she goes and travels to some area or something like that, doesn't text you for a while, and you're not you know, texting her a bunch of needy things or sending her an angry message or, or whatever, and a lot of the th those things go away. So yes, not caring a lot of times um, means that you're in a very good position, uh, means that you have a lot of things going on, and that's attractive, okay? <clears throat> A lot of times when you're in what I call the flow state, meaning when you're out and you're at a social event or something like that and things are just happening to you, you're not so much cared about the individual results, um, but you're just having a good time and because of that, women and other people really want to be around you and hang out with you. Okay, so th there's so many reasons for why not caring brings results. And so a lot of times when people hear this, they think that the object of the game is to not care as much as possible and that will make me the most attractive. So they maybe do a lot of things to try and make this happen, okay? Not caring in and of itself actually isn't what makes you attractive, okay? In fact, not caring can actually hurt you because if, let, let's say you, you are in this position where you're not caring so much and then maybe some women are attracted to you. If you don't show any interest towards them, they'll kind of get a little frustrated and and just go off for somebody else who is showing them interest. Or maybe the girls that will that do pursue you when you're not giving them anything in return, uh, I would caution you about going for those types of girls because they usually are not, uh, <laughs> they're usually not totally healthy themselves. Okay, so you do have to show a little bit of interest and care a little bit about it. So then people are trying to find that level. Okay, I, I, I don't want to care too much because I don't want to be needy and then I don't want to care, um, I don't want to care too little um, and not show any interest and have a runaway because of that. Okay, so they play a lot of games in their minds and that's somewhat my job as a coach to kind of like, you know, make sure that they're not doing anything silly or acting out and, and helping them find that balance. But really, the overall basis is you need, not caring is not what's attractive. Caring about something else more is what's more attractive. Whether it's yourself, whether it's your career, maybe you're passionate about something, whether it's your family, that is what's really attractive, okay? Caring about something more than them. And, and those things that I just mentioned, they should all come before a girl that you're pursuing, or, or even if this girl's your girlfriend, I would put all those things ahead of her. Okay, um, but if you place all of the importance on her, you put her on that pedestal, you start really, really caring, um, she texts you back, then that's where the neediness starts to creep in, that's where the bad habits, and you stop becoming that attractive person that you know maybe she fell in love with or maybe she really liked at the beginning and was really attracted to. Okay, so uh, I, that's why a lot of times when you stop caring, the girls come back or you start getting more results. Now here's the thing. If this happens to you and a girl kind of leaves you, um, 
and then you do a lot of the stuff that I, that I talked about and she starts texting you again, uh, I would really be cautious about going back with that person because if this is someone that's just gonna drop you at, a, you know, at, the, at the drop of a hat basically, um, and then she only comes back when you're looking good and things are going great, you know, if you're looking for a girlfriend especially, that would be something to really take into account. This girl might not be the right person they might not be the best person for you. I mean, if you just want to hook up with her, okay, great, that's fine too. You know, I totally, <laughs> I totally get it. I've been that guy for a while. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely caution if, uh, if the girls are coming in and out of your life. Usually girls that flip-flop very easily, long-term, um, probably not the best people to have around. Short-term, fine. If you want to just hook up with them, that's, that's cool too. Um, but like I said, you guys, the main thing here is n not caring is, the, is not the thing that really gets them. It's caring about something else more. Okay, if you're just a guy who cares about nothing super uh, uh, nihilistic, um, I, I don't know if that's going to be attracting too many women, uh, but caring about something else more uh, will. Um, and, and like I said, once you start having this, once you start getting into that flow state and cultivating that environment, um, all of those things will kind of fall into place. So uh, yeah, that's, that, that'll be my answer to this question, man. Um, guys, if you made it to end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching program, well, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm... No, I, there's no more spots left in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, but uh, if you want to get into my mastermind, I highly recommend that you fill out the form down below. Uh, there's a link to it, and uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.